And because I don't want you to have all the fun, I began with the exact same image that I ended with yesterday. And the trick, I watched a few kids in class playing around with this, and the cardinal sin is always pushing it too far, taking the enhancement so far you start blowing out detail and color and it just becomes a mess, a uh, hurricane of pixels <laughs> with a tragedy strewn about. So you try to maintain some compositional elements, some foundation, uh, because was this the ending? Well, I played around with it, and here, if I hold down Option and click on this eyeball, you can see where I wound up with. Okay, so there are a lot of things going on here, but I showed you these things. I've got uh, motion blurs. Uh, this time, if I double click on that, you can see if you pull this thing out, you get to 100 pixels, but you can crank this further. You notice this is 90 degrees, this is vertical, and this one is zero degrees, which is horizontal. And then, of course, I changed the blend modes of these two um, in order to get what I wanted, in order to turn this, oh, because I played with things, I lost that. So you just click and drag. You don't have to click on every eyeball. You just click and drag straight up and you can turn everything on. And as you do that, you can see the progression of how this changed from the original to heading back up the layer stack, how this evolved. Oops, these two need to go on. And wound up there. Now, is this the final product? Well, it's the final product of this layer stack. There's no saying I won't take this image and try something else tomorrow because as you see, it still has definition. It still has really fine lines. It has detail. It's not blown out color-wise and it provides a foundation for an entirely new layer stack if I want to go there. And that's the name of this type of creative process is a little bit of creative chaos and control mixed together with always an uncertain outcome.